darlings and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about the fact that I do not share a bed with my husband um, and the reasons why. Uh, the reason I'm sharing it as well is because I feel like it's actually really interesting and for me it's made a massive difference to my life and I feel like if it's helped me, it could help other people. I think it's one of those subjects that people find so strange if you hear that people sleep in separate beds or se have separate bedrooms but they're married or they're they're a couple and it just sounds so alien i remember my grandparents used to sleep in separate rooms i always found it really odd and i always just assumed that if, if couples didn't sleep in the same bed they didn't get on or they're about to split up or something i didn't understand it now here's the thing sleep is so important and there is nothing wrong with putting your sleep first. At the end of the day, if you're in a, if you're in a secure relationship, then where you sleep shouldn't really matter. So don't feel that you are failing in your marriage if you decide that actually we need a separate, we need separate beds or we need separate rooms or something. Whether it's snoring or whatever it may be, whatever your reasons are, if it's going to help you sleep, like sleep is so important. If you are tired, I'm sorry, but it ruins your day. Like being constantly tired is just exhausting, mentally exhausting, physically exhausting, and you can't live your best life being exhausted all the time. It's not fair. And if it's just a case of, okay, well let's sleep in separate beds, do it. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how we do it. Actually really clever. Um, so I have to say, I am happily married. We are both very happy. Um, it's not because we're about to get divorced or anything like that. Very happy. We've actually been doing this for a couple of years. It feels like ages. It might even be like three years or something. Um, but when I explain it, it's we've done it in a clever way where it kind of doesn't even feel like we're sleeping in separate beds. So we have, we're in the same bedroom um but we have separate beds okay so let me tell you why i decided to do this first of all okay so there's a few things first of all i um am a very 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 light sleeper any sound wakes me up um any type of movement wakes me up like if someone came along and tapped me on the cheek i'm awake like i'm not one of these people where someone's like robbing the house and like creeping around next to you and the person's just asleep like i'm hearing every single sound i know everything that's going on so every time my husband goes up to, gets up to go to the toilet i wake up every time he gets back in the bed <laughs> the toilet, i'm awake again do you know what i mean i like doze back off wake back up any sound outside any sound in the house any floorboard creaks i'm awake again um so that's the first thing um Another thing that always wakes me up is every single time my husband moves in the bed because you're sharing a mattress, obviously this was previously, um, if you're sharing a mattress there is nothing more annoying than when someone is wriggling around and you're bouncing around on your side of the mattress because they're bouncing around on their side of the mattress so they're wriggling around in the night and it's jiggling you around and it's the most annoying thing because you're just trying to sleep and now you're awake. So. This was something that, again, used to really kind of, ugh, not only would I hear him going to the toilet, but I'd like feel the mattress like bounce up where he gets out of the bed and then bounce again when he gets back in the bed, tossing and turning. I can just feel every single movement. And that's the thing when you're sharing a mattress is that you can feel every movement. If they move, you move and you don't even want to. <laughs> so that's another issue that we had. Another thing was just the space. We were previously in just a normal double bed. Um, and he, I think most men do this. I didn't realize that everyone did it, but I just thought it was my husband, but I think it's most men. Comment below if your husband or partner or anyone you know does this. He like twitches to the point where he like flings his arms like randomly, It'll be he'll be dead still. And then suddenly this like in my face and I'm like, what? So the amount of times I used to get like whacked in the face, whacked in the ribs, whacked in the chest, whacked in the stomach. It used to just drive me insane. Sometimes it would actually hurt and sometimes it was just more just the annoyance that, oh my God, he just whacked me again, he's woke me up. Um, so just all of these things, um, I don't know why they do it, I swear I don't do that. Um, he even like whacks his bedside cabinet, like as he's falling asleep, he'll go like that and like punches the drawers next to him and I'm like, oh my God. 
So that was another thing, getting whacked in the night. And that was because our bed just wasn't big enough. And I was like, we need a bigger bed. So that was actually the first thing that like triggered the chain of events. Um, the next thing that used to really rile me um, was the fact that sharing a quilt or a duvet, whatever you want to call it, um, a blanket, whatever, sharing that, every time they pull it, it comes off you. So you're there snug and you're comfortable and your blanket's on you and then they roll over and pull the blanket and then they pull the blanket off you. Hello. <laughs> That is so annoying. So that had to go as well. So initially it was like, okay, I just need a bigger bed because like I need something, like I have to have a bigger bed. For me, like that was the only option. Okay, we're gonna get a bigger bed. So I was looking at king sizes um, and then I thought, you know what? I want the biggest size I can possibly get. So I'm going to go for super king. Now super king is the equivalent of two single beds together. So you go from being uh, four foot six, I think it is wide, to six foot wide. I think a, a king size bed is five foot wide and then it's an extra foot wider than that. Um, and that's a super king. So four, four foot six to six foot. Um, and I was like, give me the six foot, like I need the six foot. Um, and we went to a hotel and I realized, and a lot of hotels do this, and they have, they actually have two single beds together um, to make one giant bed and you look at the bases and you realize that it's actually two separate bases put together just so they can make this like giant bed um, and every time we used to go to hotels and the bed was huge I'd sleep so much better because we'd have this big gap between us and I wouldn't get whacked and all of this stuff so anyway so I decided to go for that option and have the two single bases so that we could have like the biggest bed possible then I decided to go with not only the two single bases, but the two single mattresses, because then that means, first of all, it's easier to get a single mattress than a super king mattress. So we just got two separate mattresses. And what was also great is that we like different um, like firmness in our mattresses. So we've both got completely different mattresses on completely different um, bases. So we've got two single beds pushed together. It looks like one giant bed, but it's not. The great thing about this is, number one, we've got the extra space, so I can sleep on my side, he's on his side, loads of room, he can fling his arms, he can do what he wants, he's not going to whack me anymore because there's a big gap, which I love, um, and the fact that we're on separate mattresses, if he's jiggling around, I don't notice, because my mattress is still, because I'm still, he can do what he wants, he could bounce around on that bed, he can do somersaults on his bed, he can do whatever he wants on his mattress because my mattress will not move so therefore I will not be disturbed. So that ticks another thing off the box, um, it's going to help me sleep better. And then the next thing that we did um, was we actually have two separate quilts. So we don't have one giant super king quilt, we have two singles. So we literally have two single beds pushed together because I still, you know, we could have had a gap but I'm like, you know, let's you know, let's still feel like we're in the same bed, even though technically we're not. Um, so we've got two singles next to each other, pushed together, and then we've got two separate quilts. Now this has been a game changer because like I said, I can snuggle up with my quilt and it will not move all night unless I move it. He can do what he wants with his quilt, mine's not moving. And that has made the biggest difference. And put these all these things together, the space, my own mattress, my own quilt. I am sleeping so much better. Obviously, I can't do anything about the fact that I'm a light sleeper and I hear noises and I still wake up, but honestly, I have never slept better since doing this. So if you have any of the issues that we were having, or to be honest, my husband was like, didn't care because he was you know, fast asleep every night. It wasn't affecting him, but it was affecting me. So if you feel like this and you have these kind of issues every single night then you might want to think about doing this i think it's genius honestly like i say it just looks like one giant bed but technically we are in separate beds with our own quilts our own mattresses our own bed frames it's amazing um and it's a way you, you still feel like you're together but you're not <laughs> so it's great um so i just wanted to share this with you because i just think it's genius and it makes sense and it's made my life so much better it's so much nicer to be able to actually sleep. So anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.